Hello. Today we will see measurements of the spur gear in which we are going to see one type of vernier caliper which is known as a gear tooth vernier caliper which is used for measurement of uh, gear tooth thickness. This is basically a spur gear. Uh, spur gear basically consists of so many parameters to measure like we have outside diameter, we have root diameter and we have a pitch over this pitch circle diameter. One important parameter of gear tooth is always measured in many manufacturing industries, especially uh, those manufacturing industries which uh, manufacture gears is known as a gear tooth thickness. If you consider uh, profile of uh, any spur gear, most of the profiles they are involute profiles. So I have drawn one involute profile over here and in this involute profile during lecture we have seen uh, different gear parameters. Particularly in this involute profile, the profile is having a shape like this and if I consider the pitch circle diameter at this particular point, we have addendum depth which is measured from top of tooth up to the pitch circle diameter and then we have detendum depth which is measured below this pitch circle diameter up to the root. And particularly when we see uh, spur gear and if I consider the gear tooth thickness, if you do observe the gear tooth thickness, it varies from top to bottom. But most of the times the gear tooth thickness is measured at the pitch circle diameter. So this chordal thickness is known as a gear tooth thickness. This is very important parameter of any spur gear because when the gears are in meshing particularly most of the forces come across the meshing line that is along the pitch circle diameter. So because of this uh, if we consider the wear of tooth also it basically have a large impact at this pitch circle diameter. So today we will see how to measure this chordal thickness that is from this point to this point which is known as a gear tooth thickness or sometimes also major, known as a chordal thickness. This is particularly observed at a distance from top to the addendum depth. So it is very uh, difficult to find out this particular point when we actually see the gear because this point is not visible on the actual gear tooth. So we have a special instrument which is known as a, a gear tooth vernier caliper for measurement of this W. This instrument is known as a gear tooth vernier caliper. Basically it looks like a combination of two vernier calipers or you can say one vernier and vernier, one vernier height gauge. Uh, it, this vernier have a uh, number of scales which can be used for measurement of gear tooth thickness but it have a set of a horizontal scale, a main scale and a vernier scale and it also have a set of vertical scale as a main scale and a vernier scale. This arrangement is done because when we measure the gear tooth profile, involute gear tooth profile, we have to measure the gear tooth thickness at these points which is the points at the pitch circle and these, these are available at the addendum depth. So for this reason this instrument is provided with two scales, one is vertical scale and other is a horizontal scale. So if you observe the instrument here. This is the vertical arrangement for the instrument. Now this vertical arrangement is for addendum depth and this is the horizontal arrangement. This is for measurement of gear tooth thickness. With this vertical arrangement what we are supposed to do is if you closely observe it, this vertical arrangement have a blade with it. So if I just move this the blade will also move. So you have to set this instrument with its vertical scale to a distance known as an addendum. And once you set this instrument for a distance known as addendum, you can move this horizontal scale so that it will reach the pitch line of the gear tooth. So with this we can move this to reach to the pitch line and we can measure the gear tooth thickness. So let us start with this. This is the spur gear for which I am going to carry out the measurement of gear tooth thickness. This is a spur gear having a model equal to 5 and 44 number of teeth. So what I will do, I will measure the gear tooth thickness at, at selected number of teeth by using the this instrument which is known as a gear tooth vernier caliper. So for this particular measurement what we do have is we need to make two types of uh, adjustment for this instrument but when we are going to measure the gear tooth thickness we need to do the vertical adjustment which is equal to addendum. So you have studied this in theory of machine or in machine drawing also that for involute profile the addendum is always equal to module or we can have equation like d is equal to nm by 2 1 plus 2 by n cos of 90 divided by n this as the equation. So we will prefer this that is addendum is equal to module. In our case the module is equal to 5 which is mentioned with the gear. If sometimes module is not known you can use this equation d which is known as a 
बेस सर्कल डायमीटर इज इक्वल टू आउटसाइड डायमीटर डिवाइडेड बाय आउटसाइड डायमीटर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एन डिवाइडेड बाय एन प्लस टू एंड वंस यू गेट दिस डी यू कैन कैलकुलेट मॉड्यूल एज एम इज इक्वल टू डी बाय एन सो यू कैन यूज बोथ ऑफ द प्रोसीजर्स इफ मॉड्यूल इज नोन यू कैन डायरेक्टली सेट दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू एड एंड डम बाय यूजिंग द एडजस्टमेंट ऑन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट नाउ इफ यू क्लोजली ऑब्जर्व दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट ओवर हियर वॉट यू कैन सी इज दिस इज दिस इज द वर्टिकल एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट so it is somewhat similar to vernier caliper and vernier height gauge so this is main scale this is vernier scale this is fine adjustment knob and these are the locking screws similarly for this if you closely look this looks like a vernier caliper so these are the jaws for measurement fixed jaw movable jaw this is main scale vernier scale locking screw these are two locking screw and fine adjustment knob only thing is that the range of this instrument is not identified by the scale but they are identified by the number of modules for which this instrument can be used in our case the range of this instrument is m 1 to 26 means what it can be used for measurement of gear tooth thickness which are having modules from 1 to 26 so within this we can measure any tooth thickness of these modules so let us start with this as in our case the module is equal to 5 first what i will do i will set this instrument for vertical adjustment to a distance equal to 5 mm now i have set this vertical scale for a distance equal to module in our case the module was 5 so i have set this addendum depth for 5 mm if you closely observe here just see division number 5 is in line with the Zero. So no further divisions will match on the vernier scale. So directly the reading is equal to 5 mm. When we say distance equal to 5 mm means what? We have set this instrument from this up to the end of blade. This depth is equal to 5 mm. So when we apply this depth, that is instrument from top end, that is it will rest on the land and the blade will rest on the land. and if i move this now the horizontal scale is free to move we cannot move the instrument with the vertical scale so adjust it the blade will rest on the land and then slowly move so that the movable blade movable jaw will touch to the other side of gear to thickness then lock this do the fine adjustment if you want and lock this now what this instrument have done now is since we have set this instrument to, to a distance equal to addendum depth automatically these jaws now are measuring a distance along the pitch circle diameter in our case this distance is nothing but the pitch circle diameter uh, sorry the cordal thickness that is distance from this to this so when i apply instrument to any tooth now like this this horizontal scale will give me distance equal to cordal thickness so let us measure this now so i have applied it to the gear to thickness under measurement so now i will read this horizontal scale the vertical scale i have set for 5 and for this 5 mm addendum depth i will read now cordal thickness so if you closely observe this if i go from this side 5 6 7 8 so division number 8 is exactly matching with the zero that is division number 8 coincides with zero directly so no further division along this vernier scale will match now therefore the reading of cordal thickness is equal to 8 mm so in this way you can set this instrument to addendum depth and you can measure cordal thickness so when the number of teeth like the different teeth are there when gears are actually in meshing the gear tooth may get subjected to wear and this wear may be different at different tooth so you can measure the thickness at number of tooth you can select the different teeth over here the procedure will be same every time now you have to set this instrument to a vertical distance which is equal to addendum depth that is module so if i set it to 5 now you can take multiple readings on the gear tooth like this measure this you can set it on the next tooth you can set it on the next tooth and average reading you can take as the cordal thickness of a particular gear